Okay, Virgos. So this is what I'm getting for y'all. How y'all doing? First off, well, go back to Vanessa Montero. It's like, ah, what a talk already. Um, I miss you guys. Haven't seen y'all in a minute. Hope you've been well. Uh, if you need me, check the description box below for the link to book me. Okay. And um, last thing. Whenever you get this reading is whenever you're meant to hear it. All readings are timeless. My reads are usually 30 days out. So that's why I don't put them up that often. Okay. All right. So here we go. So Virgos, I'm getting that you're ready to fly away. Like you're just like I kept hearing that song. I'm like a bird. I only fly away. And I, I don't know what my soul is. Like, yeah, I, I just feel like it's like it's time. That's all I keep hearing. It's time. Like release i'm done i don't care no more i don't i know now i know what i gotta do like it's a lot of restless energy around virgos right now like it's time it's time i mean i feel like there's nothing else to say i feel like i kind of give you guys this reading every few months so maybe you've been making a lot of changes this past year um, but it feels like it's really time. I'm a Virgo moon, so I really resonate with y'all. I really, really do. And I feel like some of you are breaking up with somebody. It's been a long time. Um, some of you are just tired of being tired and bound and insecure about something. Some of you are just tired of over fucking thinking. It's time. All right. Um, also, a lot of you, uh, specifically males, I feel like you're looking at some relationship that you want like there's something you want there's some type of celebration you want or some type of feeling you want i want that old thing back that's what i'm hearing i want that old thing back or i want that i want that new play <laughs> mm. all right let's see virgo four messages and we'll clarify it'll be five total once i look under the deck okay so what's going on with the virgos let's see page of coin right there's something you're looking at this opportunity like okay I want this. I want to take this opportunity. Some of you want to start a family. Um, some of you want to go towards marriage with someone or go towards long term or just friendship, whatever. You're looking at this opportunity. It's a golden opportunity. It's time to take it. You're holding it. You're like, some of you are going to finally make that call or accept that offer. Okay. It's time. Yeah, 10 coins. It's like you go for a page of coins, 10 coins. All right, so this is all about you done mastered. So 10 coins, page of coins. So you done mastered what it takes to build your stability, your your foundation. You already know what it takes. You're stable. Some of you are going towards that stability, finally. Finally, that that long-term stable commitment, that job, that home, that, that relationship, or just that foundation. You know what that foundation is now. You're going for it. You're going for the money. I'm serious, y'all. Some of y'all going for the money straight up. Like, this is the money job. This is the money thing that will set you up. Some of you are putting that down payment on that house. All right. Ten cups, ten coins. This, is a, this wasn't reversed. It was sideways. I'm going to put it up right. Okay. Ten cups, ten coins. That's the happily ever after combination in tarot, guys. Happily ever freaking after okay house home some of you're getting that dream home some of you're getting that dream relationship some of you are finally going to go towards that person you, your ultimate person or your ultimate goal your ultimate stability you're just it's time some of you're getting a ring some of you're getting engaged oh okay what's going on virgo the lovers yeah heavy engagement energy here some of you are like, it's time. I'm ready to be with that person, that one. I'm ready to commit. I'm finally ready to commit. I'm finally ready to commit. Knight of Cups. This is a love reading. Wow, straight up. Some of you, all right. I'm getting, this is not a new person. There ain't no new shit here, okay? Um, Knight of Cups. This is just ready to make that offer. Ready to make that offer. Ready to profess your undying love. Like, that's straight up here with the lovers and the Knight of Cups. Some of you, because you have a career card here, some of you are um, finally going to step out into that that art that artsy thing you always wanted to do. Some of you want to sing or and dance or make art, and you want to make a career out of it, and you're happy doing it, and you're just going to do it. Okay, you're just going to take that first step, apply for that job, or finally get that opportunity you always wanted, so that you could pursue your your passions full time. You're making a decision though. There's a decision here, the lovers, and you choose. The more stable option, the more the the dream you choose. That you're finally just going towards your dreams. 
right? Wow, beautiful, Virgo. Beautiful. All right, let's clarify the page of coin. What's this, this message that you're receiving? This solid new message. Some of y'all are choosing, um, I don't see any signs here for real besides yourself and a water sign. A Gemini, sorry, and a Gemini. Um, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? So, it could have been something that happened for y'all with uh, Mercury retrograde. You finally made a decision. You have 10 coins again, Virgo. Wow, that's money. Some of y'all are hitting a jackpot on money, okay? Just saying, that's money. Straight up there. Here's come to Scorpio. All right, so some of y'all can't take it anymore, and you're finally going to go for that relationship. You're going to go it alone and find yourself. If it's like you find yourself when you're alone, and you're, and you're comfortable, and you're secure, you are overwhelmed and stressed thinking about this situation that you want to offer something to okay it's like you're done you're tired of the old shit you're tired of the old baggage you're letting that go you're you learned again you there's something that this is because you have old energy here okay because just because it's a hermit don't mean just because it's a virgo card that mean it doesn't mean it's all about being a hermit it's me something a long time coming okay something old like an old memory an old friend right that you could have worked with or just had a long-standing friendship that you unrequited love here letting them go letting go of the burdens and finally speaking there's also a pisces here let's see there's a pisces here that is so tired of holding back from a relationship and they want to offer something solid a ring something to solidify it okay that's just a side note for some of y'all um so you have the hermit card this is the this is you waiting deciding to go out alone deciding you don't need you're fighting off you're no longer giving into your indulgences some of y'all are um facing your worst fears and letting go of your addictions and facing your worst fear about what's already inside this is a very specific message here some of you figured out that you were just like masking or hiding how you truly felt about something or um numbing the pain okay numbing the pain and you're letting releasing that you're releasing that thing what you do you numb the pain and you're now getting in control of your emotions feeling like you know what makes you feel calm and good and stable letting go of all the things that weigh you down only because you cannot take it anymore it's breaking your back and just taking one step in the direction of your dreams like that's straight up what the Virgo was doing and it's leading to money 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 somebody getting a family ten of coin let's see starting a family some of you are starting a family. Mm -hmm. Ten of coin. There's two children here now. What's up? What's, and a dad. Some of you are going to be a dad. <laughs> What's this? Ten of coin for Virgo. Some of you might be a mom. No discrimination here. Um, so there's good news here. Something that didn't work out. Maybe in the past. A relationship that didn't work out that you're refusing to see before is now stable straight up somebody was insecure they felt they weren't balanced enough or stable to offer somebody some type of exciting new start here and they ignored it well now they're ready to invest for long term okay that's a very straight up message here somebody your bank loan didn't go through before but now you're getting a second chance or another opportunity um or some whatever money didn't wouldn't pay it out you're finally getting that payout What's the ten of coin or cup here for Virgo? Why is Virgo so happy? Yeah, here you go, the Hierophant. Somebody's getting that commitment. Okay, so somebody wanted a second chance and they really didn't feel they were worthy of it, but they had to change their belief system. They maybe didn't feel like the person would feel the same way. You now have Taurus here. You have Scorpio here. You have Libra as well. Um, I'm telling you that so you know what other reads go and watch. Okay um doesn't mean the person is that energy it just means also that you could go watch those other readings and get more insight on the situation um so you have nine cups reversed so somebody really 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 wanted something so so badly that they were not willing to ask for it okay they were not they felt like it was too much pressure they just let it go or they just they just released it because they felt like they didn't want to be judged for the way they believe, the way they are, or what they stand for. But now they're realizing they don't care. They don't care because it makes them happy. 
okay? They don't want to be judged for maybe their lack of effort or their lack of devotion or the way they are deep down inside. Somebody felt like they weren't good enough, okay? But now they're like, nah, I don't want to block my own happiness. I'm just going to go for it, all right? Lovers, they're making the decision to balance out the parts of themselves that are fearful and scared and balance out the parts that are happy and decide what's more important, being scared or going for your dreams, the lover's card, okay? That's really what that is about, being balanced in love, loving oneself enough to go after what you really love to make decisions that are really right by your own damn self. Um, now you have the King of Cups, the Queen of Cups, so we have a pair on the board, okay? And now we have a third person, this Queen of Swords. So now we have two queens and a king. So there could be two women wanting to receive love from this king, but this king is only in love with this queen, okay? All right, so this is like the um, water energy here is winning over this swords energy. So that means the more loving and nurturing energy is winning over the more um, logical energy, the more, in this case, cold. Not always queen of swords is cold. It's just this is about, this is a cold energy right here, okay? So somebody's deciding that, you know what, it's a better option it's better to weigh my options and be smart and go after the one that, you know, even though I'm unclear about whether or not this is a good choice, maybe I need to go back and revisit a conversation and see what else new I can find, what new discoveries with an open mind this time. Okay. And maybe I'll discover something new and I'm seeing that you do. There's a healing energy, a reconciliation energy coming here. Somebody could live at a distance and they're seeing there is a solid commitment here. Somebody's never lost devotion. So... Somebody's going back to this Queen of Wand energy, this person they ended things with, that they were in love with. They're choosing to give them a fresh start, a new direction, or to choose a new path because they couldn't get over it. Ooh, now we have the King of Wands. It's a heavy counterpart energy here. Heavy counterpart. Now you got King of Wands, Queen of Wands, King of Cups, Queen of Cups. So, this is what I'm seeing here, okay? Something that didn't work out in the past, all right? Could have been a friendship situation because you have a friendship card here, Three of Coin, Reverse. Yeah, it didn't work out. Lots of cards of abandonment here, putting down the stress, confusion, worried, worried about rejection. Okay, this king, when he's reversed like this, this king wants, queen of wants, it means like she's too good for me or she wouldn't like me or she, this this guy needs to feel loved or he needs to feel wanted. He's a queen, king of wants. He's not used to chasing nobody. So like if he has to chase somebody, he's just going to give up. But this person is realizing I couldn't give up. I gave on the, up on the one thing that made me happy. All oh, because I met my match. Somebody else who's not going to chase you. Okay? They're just going to make demands. And you just have to meet them. It doesn't... <laughs> that's just how King, Queen, King and Queen of Wands work. Because the attraction is so strong. Right? It's, it doesn't need to be said. It just needs to be acted on. That's it. Well, here's this, here's this energy that was never given. That was never given. Here's what was to have two people in love that held back. So now a decision has been made to finally clear up the confusion with this Queen of Swords. Maybe somebody's getting a third party's getting cut out here because I have the threes reverse, okay? And somebody's choosing, most different people, the one they want, the lover's card, okay? And they're deciding to go back and try to make new discoveries or try to see what else there is to discover about the situation of the past or you know, try to figure out why this situation didn't work out in the first place. And now we can, we're going to, this card is all about the underdog, figuring out like why you were the underdog. Or you had to go through this, this battle to learn something about oneself. And that discovery is the key, key that takes you to like a better place, right? Some of you, you're going to travel. The world card is here and the six of uh, swords. It could be somebody at a different distance that wants to speak to you and have that clarifying conversation. All right. So what's your fortune? What's Virgo's fortune? Ace of action. Time to take action. Didn't I say it's time? Ace of action. This cherub is heralding a time of wonderful new opportunities related to your creativity, your career, or pursuing your dreams. Why did I say that's a word? This is why I read these cards. Because it's the same words that I use when I pick up at these readings okay so y'all could just see like men I need these you know I don't need these but you do for clarification of what I said all right so let me start over sorry about that ace of action so they say chair because there's all these little cute little angels on here okay little fat white angels all right so don't you just love that though I do 
All right, so <laughs> this cherub is heralding a time of wonderful new opportunities related to your creativity, your career, or pursuing your dreams. This is a card of action, and if you've been procrastinating, it's time to really get busy. It's also a great time to start a new business. Have confidence in your abilities, okay? Let's get you another fortune. What's the fortune for Virgo? Okay, that's two more, so put that down. Inner strength is under there, okay? Just so you know, I think that's self-explanatory. Intuitive, ooh, intuition and insight, the moon card, okay? The moon. So, your intuitive abilities are very accurate right now. You can also trust your guidance to... You can also trust your guidance to lead you in the right direction. Follow your own insights over the advice of others and don't allow fear or worry to guide your way. It may be best to keep your secrets to yourself for now. Ooh, don't tell that queen of swords what you're doing. That person that's very sharp and very cold and just very matter of fact. Don't tell that person. Um, two of thought. Your angels have noticed that you're not moving forward. You have multiple options that you're reviewing and you seem to be unable to choose. Ask your angels for signs as to what direction to take or just listen to your own inner voice. Deep down, you know what to do. That's what I'm saying. It's time. Okay. It's time, Virgo. It's of action. It's time. Okay. Okay. Thanks for visiting. I'll see y'all soon.